Have you ever wondered how to recognize signs of a dog with a broken tail, especially when the break is in the middle or tip? It can be a distressing situation for both the dog and its owner. While a broken tail may not seem as severe as a broken leg or other serious injuries, it can still cause a great deal of discomfort and pain to our furry friends. In this video, we will delve into the signs of a broken tail in dogs and provide you with valuable information on how to identify and address this issue. First, let's understand how a dog's tail is structured. A dog's tail is primarily composed of bones, vertebrae, and muscles. It is an extension of their spine and plays an essential role in their communication, balance, and expression of emotions. When a dog's tail is broken, it refers to the fracture or damage to any part of these vertebrae. One of the most common signs of a broken tail in dogs is the abnormal positioning of the tail. A dog with a broken tail may hold it in an unusual position, such as excessively drooping or sticking out at an awkward angle. Take note if your dog's tail seems visibly damaged, swollen, or bent in unnatural ways. However, it is important to remember that some dogs have naturally curly or kinked tails, so it is crucial to compare their current posture with their usual tail position. Another telltale sign of a broken tail is the dog's behavior. Dogs in pain often exhibit changes in their behavior, and a broken tail is no exception. If you notice your dog displaying signs of discomfort, such as whining, whimpering, or being overly sensitive to touch around their tail area, it may indicate a possible fracture. Additionally, dogs with broken tails may struggle to wag or move their tails as freely as before due to the pain and limited mobility caused by the injury. Physical symptoms can also give us more insight into a dog's tail condition. Look out for any bleeding or discharge from the tail, as this can suggest an open wound or infection caused by the breakage. Swelling, bruising, or the presence of lumps along the tail can also indicate a fracture. However, remember that these symptoms can overlap with other tail injuries or medical conditions, so it is best to seek veterinary advice for an accurate diagnosis. If you suspect your dog has a broken tail, it is crucial to seek veterinary attention promptly. A veterinarian will be able to evaluate the severity and location of the fracture through physical examination and potentially further diagnostic tests such as x-rays. Treatment options may vary depending on the extent of the break, but they can include medication for pain relief, immobilization of the tail with a splint or bandage, or in severe cases, surgery to realign and stabilize the broken bones. During the healing process, it is crucial to provide your dog with a safe and comfortable environment. Restrict their movement, avoiding activities that may exacerbate the fracture or cause further harm. Ensure your dog rests properly and follows any medication or treatment plans prescribed by the veterinarian. Regular checkups with the vet will enable them to monitor your dog's progress and make any necessary adjustments to the treatment plan. Prevention is always better than cure. While accidents can happen, there are certain measures you can take to minimize the risk of your dog experiencing a broken tail. Avoid incidents that might result in tail injuries, such as allowing your dog to interact with larger, more aggressive dogs or exposing them to hazardous environments where their tails may get caught or crushed. Supervise your dog during playtime and keep them away from potentially dangerous situations. In conclusion, recognizing the signs of a dog with a broken tail in the middle or tip is essential for early detection and appropriate treatment. Watch out for abnormal tail positioning, changes in behavior, physical symptoms like bleeding or swelling, and seek veterinary care promptly. Remember to provide a calm and safe environment for your dog during their recovery. By being vigilant and taking preventive measures, we can ensure our furry companion's well-being and minimize the occurrence of such injuries.